I'm so I'm excited. I'm excited about styling my hair. I think I'm gonna go home and crinkle it and uh, see what that's gonna give me with this front um, face frame that Pauline did for me. So I'm excited. Hey, 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 so before she heads home and throws some crinkles in there, I am going to style her hair into a cute style. Um, since she has this fresh cut, you guys saw the previous video where we cut her hair. If you have not seen it, go check it out. But she has a fresh cut, so we're going to um, style her hair. It's just showing her different ways she can style her hair um, at this length. So I'm excited. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new to my channel, uh, welcome. I am Pauline. I um, pretty much just teach people how to uh, start, grow a profitable lock business. And I help people along their lock journey um, on my YouTube channel. So I give advice, help and support you throughout your journey. And I have um, tutorials, style tutorials, other tutorials on doing different things. So with this hairstyle, I am doing barrel, um, the uh, lock barrels. So I am doing barrels. If you want to learn how to do other um, styles, um, I did have a lock um, styling class, couple of, um, I believe it was last week. And everything was recorded. So if you want to catch the replay, you can um, just comment, let me know. I um, can um, send you the link where you can go watch the replay. And it is literally step by step by step how to do barrels, fishtails, um, the, what else? Pipe cleaners, how to do all of that. Um so step-by-step step on how to do all those things. So if you wish to learn and want a step-by-step step, um, video with all the different styling options, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll even put the um, link in the uh, description. So we are doing a barrel style and I love doing these styles. As you can see, the um, when you're styling these, when you're... Uh, putting the locks together, be mindful of tension, okay? Be mindful of tension because you don't want to pull um, pull too much on the uh, hair. So you can see the hair, um, the strands along her hairline is pulling a little bit. Usually at the end, I go through and pull them the opposite direction to relax it a little bit so it's not um, too much um, tension on her hairline. The hairline is the weakest area. So you want to make sure you're protecting those at all costs, okay? So be mindful of that. So I believe we're doing just a couple of barrels and then we're going to take the barrels and put it into, um, what is it called? So we're just going to twist the barrels into a petal ponytail. So stick around so you can see how I do them step by step. Um, I try to keep the process very simple as I'm showing you guys. Um, so yes, I love this. Let me know if you have any questions about any um, styling. Um, we had a, a lock styling class uh, last week in person and some um, people also were able to watch it virtually. I will be having another lock styling class Um probably somewhere in the near future. I'm still deciding if I'm doing it um, in February. If I do do it in February, it will probably be March, not, Feb not March, uh, February 18th, but I'm not 100% sure. But if I do, I will post it um, below. While you guys watch me style, couple of updates and announcements. If you have not um, registered for the Lockpreneur Seminar, um, Lockpreneur Experience Seminar coming up April 12th and the 13th. Uh, the link will be below so you can go and register. It's going to be a two-day weekend, um, two-day packed of information. And you will also get to learn how to um, create a flawless foundation, grids, and everything, as well as interlock uh, the hair. So the, the technique we'll be learning is just interlocking and we'll have guest speakers, um, panelists, just different things going on to help you along your lock business. So if you're looking to start your lock business or you've have already started your lock business and you're just wanting um, 
to expand, scale, or get unstuck or increase your clientele or learn how to do content or um, learn how to gain more clients, this is the event for you. So make sure um, you're there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask um, and I'll be happy to assist you. Okay, so back to this uh, barrel, okay? So we're doing a barrel. I just did three barrels going in an angle. Now, guys, keep in mind when you're doing your barrels, literally you can do them as small as you want, as big as you want, and you can send them in any direction angle you want. So um, it's up to you how you want to style it. But we, we like to do, she wanted like a side ponytail kind of thing. So I'm just going to bring them together. Now she has a lot of hair um, and I don't like to use um, big rubber bands. So using a pipe cleaner to um, bring the three barrels together, um, I love it. So works best for me. So I was just checking with her on the uh, tension because when I bring them together, I do not want it to be um, tight. So just making sure it was comfortable, you know, to her comfort level. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to tighten it up some more because she said it was, um, it wasn't, she, she was able to, it can be tighter. So yes, 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 yes. So once again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I am here to help, to get, help you guys with this styling, um, so with styling your locks, okay? Also guys, I not only have a, um, a mini class on styling, I also have a class on self retightening. So if you're looking to self maintain your locks, um, and the class only teaches how to interlock. So if you're palm rolling, you're crocheting your locks for maintenance, I don't teach that in a class, but the, um, the class teaches you how to interlock your hair, um, for maintenance and also how to care for your locks. So whether you have sister locks, micro locks, if you interlock for maintenance, the class is for you. And it's good to, you know, if your loctician is on vacation um, or you um, need to maintain your hairline or you want to maintain your own locks and just go to um, get your hair done a couple of times a year, that option is for you as well. Okay. So back to the style, back to the style. All right. So we're doing petals. Now, depending on the length of the petal, when you're um, putting petals in someone's hair, depending on the length of it, you might have to um, flip it or um, bend it a couple of times. But with her length, we don't have to do it. So I'm just testing it out with a two strand twist to see, because you could do two strand twist the lock and then create a petal. You can do that as well. So I did one regular and then one with a two strand twist to compare and just to kind of look at it. And so I gave her the option to look at it to see which one she wanted to go with. And so we ended up and just giving the one has a softer look, one has a tighter look, the two strand twist. So giving her options. So she went with the softer look versus the two strand twist. So um so we're doing the loose petal instead of the two strand twist petal. And keep in mind when you're doing the petals, um, every because we twisted everything coming from one side, going to the next side, every strand will not be um, the same length. So because of that, you're going to have some sticking out. It's okay. Just go ahead and um, put petals all, um, over the entire thing. And then you can go back and um, do something about the shorter ones. And I'll show you how we um, handle the shorter uh, pieces um, throughout the head. So you just go through, grab a portion. You can do the petals as big or small as you want, but typically it really depends on the um, strands of the client's hair, how thick, thin, different things like that. But you get a feel for what you want it to look like. So, and we're just using a rubber band to put the petals, to secure the petals. So one thing you'll notice is that the um, barrel looks similar to a fishtail, but it's slightly different. When you take the class, you will see what I'm talking about, and I will show the difference, okay? 
So it's close. So if you wanted to do this style with a fishtail instead of the barrel, you can do that as well. If you want to do this style with um, flat twists, you can do that as well. If you wanted to do um, cornrows and then go into the petals, you can do that as well. So it's really your preference whether you want to do barrel, fishtail, uh, twists, uh, cornrows, uh, whatever you prefer, it's really up to you. So to me, barrels tend to be, I have a client, she always go with the barrels because of stability. Um, she wears her style for, you know, um, a lengthy time. So she likes it to stay looking neat. So she always go for the barrels, but it's really up to you to whichever one you decide to use. Okay. So we're almost done done with the um what is it petals and you as you can see different lengths throughout so don't worry about the length just go ahead and put the petals in well i'll show you what i do with those short pieces okay and if you like to watch these lock style videos there are plenty of other lock style videos that i have so once you're done watching this one you can just go ahead and um at the end, you'll see, you can click on the lock style playlist to where you will see all the different um, lock styles I've done. So if you're looking for ideas and suggestions and different things like that, there you go. I know V-Day coming up, Valentine's Day coming up. Some of y'all want to look nice. Some of y'all want these elegant dudes and stuff. And then after Valentine's Day, you know, folks going to prom and stuff, y'all got options and I got you. Okay. So as you can see with the short pieces, I am folding them and putting them putting them in the rubber band. Some of them I'm tucking and hiding, um, but you don't wanna tuck all of them away because we, we like the little messy look, okay? So it just looks like a flower kind of thing. So look, 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 I'm gonna show. So I am going to um, pin the side a little bit so you can see so it gives it more of a, a fan uh, more of a blooming flower because we want to bloom okay so it is so cute i really love how this style turned out i didn't know i was going to do it like this child listen i start one way and then i just end with you know just i'm like okay let me twist it this way i didn't think i was going to do the petals but i ended up doing the petals um when I was starting off. So, you know, you just kind of start and then you figure figure your way out of it, okay? You'll figure it out. But look how beautiful that looks. I love it. She loved it. Um, really nice. Yes, yes, yes. And again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But feel free to share this video with other people who are looking for amazing lock styles. Share, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so beautiful. And I'm going to have some shots um, coming up for you guys so you guys can see. There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. And look at these. Yes, girl. Thanks for watching, y'all.